And Owen, for you, this is a great day for the Welsh language, is it? Oh, I'm delighted, Jeremy. And anyone who follows me on Twitter would know as much. So it's no longer Snowden and Snowdonia. Erari National Park Authority has, in much the same way as Ayers Rock in Australia has been dropped in favour of indigenous name Uluru, um, has decided to drop the words Snowden and Snowdonia from common parlance. But I think it's really important to be really, really clear. Wales is highest peak has been called Aruizba since time immemorial. So legend has it that Aruizba is the last resting place of Hidagawr, the mythical giant king of Uruvi. And he was a warrior so renowned that the 20 kings of Britain waged war in his kingdom and lost. And Hidagawr actually made a cloak from their beards. And he was felled in the end by another great Celtic warrior, Brennan Arthur, or as you know him, King Arthur. Um, who buried him underneath a cairn he called Gwydba Hitha, Hitha's Barrow, on top of this mountain range. And it's from Gwydba Hitha we take the name Er Uyva. From Snowden, on the other hand, comes from the Old English Snowden, which means <laughs> snowy hill. It's a bit unimaginative, isn't it? But this is it, isn't it, Jeremy? Do we retain our stories, our sort of collective cultural narratives, those indigenous tales of our ancient land and mother tongue from a time before the English language ever existed? Or do we just accept the inexorable march of the Anglophone world and shrug off our identity? Because I'm really of the opinion we should hold dear to our legends because they are the chronicles that shape our nation. Just to own our narrative, own our story. And Mm. I think this goes a, a long way towards doing that. Thank you.